first of all, I really don't want to be here because that's no fucking joke. I got shit I need to be doing. Not fucking reading printed word on fucking paper. And I want that to be part of the book on tape. I can't believe I have to do another one of these things. But I guess they must be going pretty good. These, uh, Shakespeare books on tape. Um, so this is called Comedy of Errors, which is, uh, you know, I, I did a small amount of research on this one, and this is supposed to be one of the shittiest Shakespeare plays, which is, uh, which says a lot because I think they're all pretty shitty. But I guess the online community is saying, uh, no thanks to Comedy of Errors, which is, uh, let me see here, a few hundred pages. You know what's a shitty Shakespeare play? I'll tell you. This one's the stupidest. Love's Labor's Lost. Yeah. There's one where you've got, like, uh, a bunch of guys, like scholars, who go off and uh, go to a castle in the woods, and they decide they just want to study. And uh, they, they realize that women are a distraction. So they... Uh, they decide they're gonna swear off women and just work on homework. But what happens? One by one, ladies start showing up. And then we've gotta wait for about two and a half hours for these guys to fucking change their minds about the stupid swearing off ladies pact that they made. And then finally they do. Love's labor's loss. Garbage. Hey, murder face. Wake up, you idiot! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this recording? I uh, press record. I mean, it's not just gonna press record. Hey, who, who is this guy? William Shakespeare. Sam Sack. You don't know who Shakespeare. You honestly don't know who Shakespeare is. You fucking idiot. You are the stupidest fucking idiot al alive in the world. You know who knows who Shakespeare is? Babies. Babies are like you. You go to a baby and you say. You know who Shakespeare is? Like, yeah, I know who he is. We should get Shaquille O'Neal, and he could be Shakespeare. Get it? Like, he's Shakespeare, but it's Shakespeare. That's how I should pronounce Is it pronounced Shakespeare? Oh, I see. You're being funny. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Was he, uh, French? Oh, right. It's in English, so he's, uh, what? He's, what? Was he from, like, Boston or something? Shakespeare? No, I don't think you're thinking of Shakespeare. I think you're thinking of, uh... I think you're thinking of Lenny Clark, comedian from Southie. I think... I'm pretty sure he was from Boston, right? Because it was, like... He wrote this stuff in, like, uh, World War uh, One, I think. He would have wrote about Hitler and stuff, but, uh, see, I think it was pretty much before Hitler. B.H. before Hitler. Maybe you're thinking of, uh, um, Mark Wahlberg, I believe, because he's, uh, from Boston originally. Okay. Let's start off with, uh, Act One, Scene One, a hall in Duke Solanus's p palace. Solanus's. Now that's a good name. I don't see what's wrong with this play. Duke Solanus, and he's got a fucking palace. Why is this so shitty? Fucking masturbating internet troll shit on stuff. The fuck do they know about anything? So, like I said, scene one, a hall in Duke Solanus's palace. Enter Duke Solanus. Aegeon. Oh, shit. Gayoler. These are people's names. Oh, this play is shitty. Aegeon. Oh, that's just. That's like a word. A E G E O N. That's like a bullshit word from words with friends that your friend tries to fucking sneak in. Aegeon. Shit. This play is garbage. Alright, we're almost at the first part of the first page. Gayoler. Okay, that's. His name is Gayoler. Ugh. Shakespeare. Get your fucking shit together. 
And then other attendants. Okay, so it doesn't matter if people are, know who the hell else other people. He says, those people are out of drink. And then other attendants. Like, it can be anybody. It could be Lincoln. It could be anybody. It's pretty inspecific. This is the worst Shakespeare play I've ever read. And I've read a lot. Aegeon speaks. Proceed, Solanus, to procure my fall, and by the doom of death and woes all. I kind of fucked that up. Let me do the second line again. Pick up! And by the doom of death and woes and all. Okay, I'm going to step aside and just try to figure out what that means. Proceed, Solanus. That means, you know, proceed. To, my, to procure my fall. All right. Procure my fall. I don't know what that means. Procure. You know, what, you know who says procure? Stoners. It's dumb stoners trying to act smart. They say, I procured us some beer or some pot. No one else ever says procure. They don't. You know what's true. This is the worst Shakespeare thing I've ever read. And you know what? We have a lot of pages to go. We've got a lot of pages to go. And I gotta tell you, the temperature in this room, it's a little warm. It's like warm with like 20% humidity. But I'm no meteorologist. You know that. I'm a singer. And I don't even sing notes, really. I talk. I talk in rhythm. I'm a rapper. I'm pretty much a rapper. And I don't even have any guns. I'm the world's worst rapper. Anyway, let's get back to this play. It's starting start to get good. So, procure, stoder talk. And by the doom of death and woes and all. So, I don't know. This guy kind of seems like a dark figure. This is supposed to be a comedy. But maybe this is where the errors start. He can't speak. When they say comedy of errors, maybe that's, nothing is understandable. Now it's starting to get funny to me. Now I understand. Now I get it. Okay, I get it. Okay, Duke saw this. Oh, fuck. He has a long, he has a lot of lines. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get this shit over with. Duke saw this his first speech. Merchant of Syracuse. Plead no more. Syracuse? Does this take place in Syracuse? Does this take place in Syracuse? Alright, that's cool. I've been to Syracuse. Yeah. I don't mean to brag, but I've been to a few places. Merchant of Syracuse, plead no more. I am not partial to infringe our laws. Okay. The enmity and discord which of late sprung from enmity. That's not a word. The enmity and discord. This Duke Solanus is an idiot. He's making up words. Two merchants are well-dealing countrymen. He's giving a speech to people. That's what's going on. That's the subtext. He's talking to people. That's what's really going down underneath the text. Two merchants are well-dealing countrymen who wanting guilders to redeem their lives having sealed his rigorous statues with their bloods. This is good. Excludes all pity from our threatening looks. Okay, I, I tuned out. I don't know what I'm reading anymore. For since the mortal and intestine jars... The, okay, back. I'm back interested. Twitch thy siditious countrymen and us. Okay, now it's back to being boring. That's amazing. That's, that's one thing about Shakespeare. He could have your attention and then just bore you to pieces the next next moment. Oh, Shakespeare. And you know what they say? He didn't even write this. Did you hear that? Some really effeminate guy. Or a lady. Or a medium effeminate lady. You know, they made a movie about it. I believe it stars Jodie Foster. There's a pinball table. Wait a minute. Hold on. No. That's that's the who's Tommy. 
that I'm thinking about. I think this is going to be a pretty good book on tape. By the way, I just want to go on record saying that, uh, I just think, I mean, not for the content, but it's just my voice is sounding particularly good today. So I think this is a... You know what I'd like to do is get some voiceover work in an, uh, in other arenas, not just books on tape, because, to be honest, books on tape can be uh, a bit dry. You know? They can be, uh... They, 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 they could be a little bit more exciting than they are, you know. And that's what, that's even with a great reader like me. But I could see myself doing a voiceover for like a Pixar movie, you know. I think I could have been Wally. Check it out. They didn't even, I didn't even audition, but this is what it would have been. Hey, uh... Here I am on a planet made of dirt, fucking around, jacking off. I'm Wally. I hope there's a lady robot that's made out of a vibrator that I can play with. You know, real smooth vibrator lady robot. Because you want to know why? Hey, because I'm Wally. I'm Wally, and I'm a robot. Hey, what do you want from me? That mo that was mostly improvised. I gotta say, some of that I sat up, I sat up, I stayed up late and wrote. But that hey, what do you want from me? I'm Wally. That was improvised. Hey, what do you want from me? I'm Wally. Obviously, the second time I said that, it's not improvised because I wrote it. But um. Here's my audition for A Bug's Life. <clears throat> so, um... I guess I'm a purple bug. Hanging out. And, uh... Solve the problems in this movie. Maybe... Maybe get serious about a love interest while I'm here. And, uh... Maybe if I can kill some of these bugs and jack off on their bodies. Bugs life. That'd be a bug's life. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I could do the voice, obviously. Um, yeah, those are, they're all good. Well then, okay. Obviously I can do the Pixar thing. But can I do the DreamWorks thing? I think that's the big, that's what everybody would want to know. Can I do Shrek? <laughs> Please. I can do Shrek, okay? And I'll prove it. Here we go. Here's my audition for Shrek, should they decide to do a remake with different actors. <clears throat> Shrek. This is Nathan Explosion reading for Shrek. Here we go. Hey. I don't know what to tell you, but I'm Shrek, and um, I'm I'm definitely an ogre, and I'm green, and I definitely, I definitely want to uh, solve the problems in this film, and hopefully find a love interest, and uh, stomp on some people and jack off on their bodies. Hey, what do you want from me? I'm Shrek! What else is there, I guess? There's no, there's no, uh... There are no other movies I can think of. I mean, I could do... I'm, I'm a little... I gotta be honest. I think I could be doing some stuff on camera. But, uh... And I was a little perturbed to find out that I was not asked even to read for Rock of Ages. I mean, by the time this Shakespeare book on tape comes out, I don't know if he, people will even remember Rock of Ages. But for those of you who don't know what Rock of Ages is, let me tell you. Rock of Ages 
and some of the shittiest music in the world uh, played end to end while a bunch of dildos dance around like jack-offs. Rock of Ages. And I gotta say, I'm a little offended that I was not asked to join them. Because that looked like fun. So, because the movie did not do fantastically, I believe that, um, I believe that it's, it's high time for a remake. And I would like to take this time to, uh, do an audition for that movie. For the inevitable remake of Rock of Ages. Here it goes. Nathan Explosion. Slating my voice. Okay. Hey. Here I am. It's the late 80s. Hair metal's doing fine. Lots of great songs from about a decade earlier are being played. That we're all tired of already. It's the kind of music that uh, comes on the jukebox. We'll probably go outside and complete our conversation. And uh, well, the guitar player is claiming to have written Don't Stop Believing," Which I think um, is uh, actionable. Because I think it wasn't him that wrote it. No, there was another guy. Anyway, Rock of Ages. Okay, back to this play. Uh, I'm looking at this first page. You could edit through some of this stuff, right? Can you send me a reel of my voiceover reel? Because I want to get a voiceover agent. Because that sounds like fun. I could do a kid's show. You know I could. You know, I wouldn't say jack off on dead bodies. I'd say something like ejaculate on recently killed babies. I don't know. Babies' bodies? I don't know. Obviously, I'm just kind of thinking about this. I'm going to skip ahead about 100 pages. Here we go. These guys are still talking. Okay. What thou meanest, an officer? I don't know what he's talking about to you. Dromeo of Syracuse. Oh, I see. That was a character before. Uh, fuck it. Fuck it, I'm not gonna figure out. You guys can read between the lines, figure out what's going on, right? Aye, sir, the sergeant of the band. He that brings any man to answer it that breaks his band. One that thinks a man always going to bed and says, God give you good rest. Antiphilus. No, no, people were just named this at some point. There aren't any people named Joe, Jim. I think they should just have nicknames for each other, you know? Everyone's so formal. You know, like sometimes you see your pal, you know, what's up, douchebag? And he's like, yeah, what's up, fucking asshole? That's what their name should be. Douchebag enters. What thou meanest, an officer? Asshole answers. Uh, answers. Why, sir, I brought you a knife. That's fun. That's how you make it fun. And it's funny. You know, I've got a sense of humor. I know I'm in a metal band. But, you know, I have a sense of humor. I, I know when things are funny. And calling a, a character... In a Shakespeare play, douchebag is funny. No, you don't remember when they used to colorize movies? You know, like a long time ago, they took an old bunch of old black and white movies that obviously no one gave a shit about because, hey, where's the color? Why would I watch this? This is how a dog sees the world. Why would I watch it? Put some color in there. I'm not watching it unless I can tell if his skin is skin colored. Otherwise, I'm turning it off. But we should be able to do that with all Shakespeare plays and replace the names with like Jack Off and Douchebag, and Fuckface, a Needle Dick, and Cunt Face, and Dildo Tits. I think those are good names. 
Anyway, back to base. Murder face. Can you shut the fuck up? Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, just, sorry, sorry, sorry. Because I can hear you. I'm awake. I'm awake. You're snoring. Stop snoring. You're like leaning on the talk back microphone. And all I hear is this horrible chortling, snarling, guttural sound. It sounds like, it sounds like, f like somebody's farting through your throat and you're being choked at the same time. It's one of the worst sounds with diarrhea. It sounds like diarrhea shit splattering through your innards. And, and then that's what you're breathing. That's what the sound is in my ears. By the way, I think you've got sleep apnea. Because oh that's God. what that Nathan, sound is. The, Nathan, I do not have sleep apnea. Untreated, it can be dangerous. You know who had sleep apnea? Darth Vader. And you know how that ended? Not so good. You'd always hear him coming. Snort. Like it sounded like... Sounded like he's fucking throwing up diarrhea in his mask every day. Darth Vader. That's that's the sight of Darth Vader that you don't know. There's a lot of, of Darth Vader that nobody knows about. Like he had a... He, uh, he had a colostomy bag. His cock was burned off in a volcano. He has a colostomy bag. I'm sorry, Anakin. But you shouldn't have been such a fucking asshole. Now you are in a colostomy bag suit. You are trapped in your own diarrhea. Most people think the Emperor killed him, but it was sleep apnea. And Got it! Telling you over here, I talked to George Lucas. He told me. Stop snoring is what I'm saying. Anyway. Uh, what was I talking about? Jack it off, Hitler, babies, what the fuck? Oh, right, let's get back to this, uh, book on tape. Right. Oh, by the way, just spotted the word Satan. Page, page 51. I'll read the line before it and see if this really pays off. Well met, well met, Master Antiphilus. I see, sir, you have found the goldsmith now. Is that the chain you promised me today? The next guy goes, Satan, avoid, I charge thee. Tempt me not. Okay, that wasn't so good. You know, Satan's stupid. I said it. I'm not scared. If there's such thing as Satan, I dare you to suck my dick. See? I just proved that religion doesn't exist. Suck my dick. And, um... And do a good job. Something you can take pride in. And then I... And then I'll sign a... I'll sign a CD for your, you know, your cousin or something. How are we doing on time? Oh. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. Back to the thing. Here we go. It may enter in Antiphilus. Okay. I think he's been in the scene. Why? I think he was already in the scene. How many times can he enter? Maybe they're just talking about him for a while. I think that's something that'd be worth exploring on a liter literary level. A character enters, let's say, like, uh, let's go to a well-known Shakespeare play. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo enters. And says, uh, fucking to be or not to be, whatever the fucking stupid language he speaks. And, uh, and then, and then Romeo enters. See, how does he do that on stage? See, that's a challenge for the actor. That's something he can sink his teeth into. As opposed to standing around in tights with a boner because he's falling in love with the leading lady who is not going to have sex with him because he's stupid and short. I'm sorry, I'm just calling him like I see him. But that's acting. That's how actors are. A short douchebag in tights with a boner tries to get like a really hot girl with low self-esteem to sleep with him. That's acting class. It's not, he's not always wearing tights. The tights are optional. 
but it's a short guy with tiny features and a little button nose and really clear blue eyes who's living off of uh, his parents' money. His father hates him and his mom, because he's a mama's boy, constantly sneaks him uh, money from her half of the account. You know, and then she gets in trouble and beaten because the dad thinks she's shopping for more bags or whatever ladies buy. Anyway, that kid with the small features and the button nose uh, is a mama's boy. And then he goes and takes an acting class at a strip mall. A strip mall and then the teacher humiliates him and then a girl that's way too hot for him feels bad and then uh, they try to have sex but he can't get it up acting class I'm telling you I'm telling you and there are a lot of scarves involved did I say that a lot of people are wearing scarves indoor scarves and they smell like they smell like uh, Axe body spray How you doing on hard drive space? You got a lot? Hope so. Okay, you know what? I have to say, jumping ahead 60 pages didn't help. I don't understand what's going on in this story. I just wanted it to be over so fucking badly that I figured fast forward, you know? But, uh, I don't think I'm gonna get paid. Because I know last time I jumped ahead, the, uh, the book on Dave Company wasn't too happy. Cause they were they were thinking like I was. What's going on here? Well, how do you how do you make sense of this stuff if you're reading it and then you jump ahead? Sometimes you, if you're watching The Bachelorette, you can jump ahead. But this is Shakespeare, so I guess it's some pretty heady stuff. So you got to know. So I'm gonna go back like 40 pages. I think that's the I think that's a smart move. It's mostly the same characters talking. Dromeo. Okay, Dromeo, by the way, is a ripoff of Romeo. It just has a D in front of it. So obviously he's running out of ideas. Shakespeare at this point in his career. Whatever that, or whatever that androgynous lady is who's writing for him. Like, whoever like that Tilda Swinton style character. In my mind, that's who I'm seeing. A very pale, wide-eyed lady who never blinks. Who can be masculine or effeminate. That's who I see pouring over with a quill bottle of Jack Daniels writing garbage. Tilda Swinton. Oh, or uh, maybe, you know who else I would cast in this part? What's her face? Hold on, I can. Glenn Close. Because she played a guy in a movie. I think it was Tootsie. Did you ever see Tootsie? Fucking great movie. Well, that's a movie. That's a movie I'd like to be in. But I think it's pretty well done. Dustin Hoffman. Want to hear my Dustin Hoffman impression? Hey. I was a better man as a woman than a woman that's a man with you. Tootsie. Hoffman. Sydney Pollock. Sydney, you're a fantastic director and a really powerful presence as an actor. And I'm not joking about that. You are missed. I say that and I look down because I believe you to be in hell. I'm kidding. Ugh. Don't start tweeting me. <sighs> Sidney Lumet, don't get me started on him. I guess everyone has to go at some point. This is getting... This is turning into a different kind of a Shakespeare read. Anyway, let's read some more of this garbage. 
Oh, here's one with not so many words on this page. So edit this together. I'm on page 30 now. Your cake there is warm within. You stand here in the cold. It would make a man mad as a buck to be so bought and sold. Now, I don't know what that means, but it said cake in it. And I'm and that got my attention. I'm a big fan of eating cake. I, uh... I'm a fan of pudding. Um... Rice pudding I'll eat, even though I think it's, it sounds... The concept sounds stupid. Rice pudding. Why don't you just give me regular pudding? Save the rice for the sushi. You know what I'm saying? Or, um... Uh, I'll just eat frosting sometimes. You don't need a cake. Ah, oh, totally recording. You just need a can of frosting. That's it's about 7,000 calories. I'm not afraid. Or you. Ask yourself that. That's how I would spend my summers. Indoors. Eating frosting. Seeing what's on cable. But you didn't know that. And then I'd take a break and taunt the cat for a while. There's a look into my childhood. I used to spend an hour to five hours trying to capture a cat. A cat in the house. And where was he every time? Underneath the bed. And he'd, uh, all I wanted to do was, was hang out with him. And that cat did not want to, uh, that cat was really disinterested in hanging out with me. So I, I decided, I'll show you. I will capture you. So, uh, I'd go into the bed and I'd corner him. And then I'd hold the cat and he'd have his arms out straight forward. Not bending. And, uh, and then I'd force feed the cat frosting. And then I'd, the cat's will would break. Or at least I'd think it would be. And then I'd release him for one second and he'd pounce. Only to go straight back to that same spot in the bed. Yeah. To be captured again. What an idiot. I should get a cat. But I don't want to change the thing. Litter box. I don't have to either. And I'm not gonna. If I get one. Are you recording? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this cat thing's more interesting than the, uh, this play. I wish there were a synopsis of this. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. So I kind Nathan. of had some understanding. I mean, is this gonna be over? I'm getting paid a lot of money to do this. Oh, it's longer. Maybe I should have, um,. Research hey, this if, play a little uh, bit. If, uh, I guess I stopped when I it said it was the worst play ever. Shit, I thought, well, why would I read it? Just, like, why even do I research about I something that's horrible? My pants, should I? Should I go? You know, I think everyone's asking that. Stop recording. You know, I think everyone wants to know. Take a shit and the, it's that's not another voice over thing. That's if here. I wanted you to do like an entertainment magazine. Like two hours. That would be the kind of voice I would use. We'll be right back to the Kim Kardashian, what she wore when she fell over. Because I think everybody wants to know. We'll be right back. Something like that. Color commentator. I think, I, I think it'd be fun to go on a, a red carpet and uh, co-host with Joan Rivers. You know what? I gotta say this. Joan Rivers... I don't know what she's doing, but she looks great. Normally, old ladies, their faces tend to show age a little bit, but not her. I don't know. Some people have good genetics. It's true. Some people do. Um, Paul Sorvino, he looks great. Uh, really old Orson Welles. Looked great. Put on, a, put on a couple pounds. What are you gonna do? Hey, what can you do? I think I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the whole thing. 
These pages are kind of, uh, oh God, they're out of order now. Let's start, but let's start, let's just recalibrate. Because I think we got to do this whole thing again. Ah, uh, Nathan, when is this when just end? <laughs> Go to the last page! Go to the last page! No one fucking knows what the fuck you're saying anyway! I feel like a lot of this stuff I've said so far is unusable. I do. I'm getting paid a lot of money to do this. And I definitely want to do another one, even though I fucking hate this with every fiber within me. And I don't need the money. Because, uh... No big deal, multi-millionaire. Curly hair. It's not something you go around saying to people is how much money you make, but, you know, I make a lot of money. And I'll tell you this, I don't give a shit except for... You know... Except for, except for buying really expensive things and living an elaborate lifestyle. And yes, doing things that, you know, money can buy. Like, I'll take an elaborate, like, uh... I took a, a cooking class one time where, uh... Well, I'm, I made a grilled cheese sandwich. I mean, that's, that was my final. Some people were making, uh... They were braising some beef, and I said, you know, I'm a... I, I failed to gather the ingredients to what I have is Wonder Bread and Kraft Singles. And you know what happened? I passed the class with flying colors because I paid the fucking guy off. I'm a multi trillionaire. Am I going to fail? <clears throat> Here we go. Page one. Hold on. I'm going to find it. Page one. It's, uh, page 11. Get warmer. Page 14. The fuck? Um. Page 38. Okay, it's going back down now. And then I look at the very back of where the papers were, and it's page 52. Let me go this way. Oh, what's this? Page 62. Uh. Wait a minute. Hold on, guys. I found page one. Okay, here we go. Big energy. We'll erase everything we've got. Starting over. All right. Okay. I'm going to really belt this out, really act it this time, because I think, uh... I think I really need people to see me as an actor. You know. So I'm really going to act this one. I'm going to act it pretty hard. So watch the mic levels. Uh, level fine, bass fine, treble okay. fine. Good. Uh, you know, Dolby Good to Dolby see we're on the same fine, page. Uh, River <laughs> Literally. Uh, Get it? Uh, Be on the same page? And then I said literally, and because I'm reading literal words, and then I am also have a page. Get it? Get it? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Comedy of Errors by William Shakespeare, the playwright. You know, I think it'd be fun to uh, have Shakespeare come out in front of everyone, almost like Alfred Hitchcock, the front of every one of his plays, and say, Hello, Hello I'm Alfred Hitchcock, and tonight you're going to see the Comedy of Errors. Picture, if you will, Duke Solanus and Aegean speaking for hours on end. Perhaps one of them will die. Right? Something like that. But not Alfred Hitchcock. It'd be the Shakespeare. I think that'd be, uh... I think that'd be more interesting. Definitely. Okay. Getting ready. Starting back on page one. Shakespeare. That's a stupid name. Shakespeare. That's what, uh... That's what the Tuscan warrior did in Star Wars. Right? You know what I'm talking about. Fucking nerds.
Okay. You know, that's something this needs is like, uh, lightsabers. I mean, I mean, I think that goes without saying that most things need lightsabers. But you know what? If everything had a lightsaber, would they even, would it even be special anymore? Would it? Would it be special? Think about it. A, I can't get past this word, a on. What should we name our kid? I don't know. So I don't want this kid getting teased or anything. Let's give him a good name. Let's give him a tough name, like Bill. Fucking Frank. No one's gonna fuck with Frank. We're getting ready to get started here. We are getting ready here. Um. Do you have breakfast? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I had breakfast. That's why my stomach's not making any noises. I, just, I want to point out that my stomach's not making any noises. I think it's making this recording pretty clear. And, um, you know what I haven't done in a long time? Um, I haven't, um, I just started thinking I, I, I would really like to have uh, a muffin from Starbucks. I used to have a muffin every day. Starbucks. Welcome to Starbucks. What would you like? I'd like to have a muffin, please. Yes, sir. And I'll have a cup of coffee. What should I write on the cup so I so whose name it is? So how I know whose name it is? Well, I don't think you really want to know. I think I think I better keep that quiet because I think the people in the Starbucks will freak out if they know I'm here. Oh, come on, sir. Please, just let me write a name because this coffee will disappear and some other asshole will take it. Well, okay, fine. Well, if you have to know, my name is Nathan Explosion. You, you, you were Nathan Explosion? Guilty as charged. I am such a huge fan of you. Thank you. Thanks for, uh, for, uh, for buying the records. No, no, no. I am such a big fan of yours. That I think, that I think I, hold on, you don't mind if I get my phone, hold on, just, no, don't, you don't have to get your phone, I just want to, I just want the coffee of the month. Let me just get a phone out and let me, what are you handing that phone to me for? Why am I handing you the phone, isn't it obvious? Are you giving me this phone? I've already got a phone. I'm not giving you the phone, Mr. Explosion. I'm humbly asking you to record an outgoing message onto my machine. Oh, fuck. You want me to record a stupid fucking outgoing message on your stupid fucking thing? All I wanted was a cup of coffee! And one of those fucking outstanding muffins! Sir, I'm, I'm afraid that I'll have to use my Starbucks authority to make sure you never get a muffin or a coffee until you do what I ask of you. Now fucking dance, monkey! <sighs> do it! Record an outgoing message for me! <sighs> Do it! I'll have my father kill you! I bought all your records! Now do whatever I want! Entertain me! Okay. Okay, here you go. It's ready to record, so just go now, okay? Okay, fine. I got it, I got it. Do something cool. Be like all brutal and stuff. Okay, what's your name? My name? My name's Marcus. Okay, Marcus, fine. I'll do it. Oh, just wait for the beep and then, then do the message. I know! I've done this before! Fucking back off, don't touch me! Hey, that's right! <laughs> this is Nathan Explosion, and you're calling my good buddy Marcus. Now rock and roll forever! Heavy metal! Oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, that's so wonderful. Hey, I'll have to listen to it. I'll have to listen to it. This is so good. Oh shit, it didn't record. Can you do it again? Are you fucking, are you fucking with me? Are you fucking with me? Just do it again, just come on, just, please. All right, fine, I'll do it again. Let's wait for the, I know, wait for the beep, I know. Sorry, can't come to the phone because I'm Nathan Explosion and you called Marcus, my real good pal. 
Rock and roll! That is so good. Oh, that was even better than the first. I'm up. I'm glad we did it a second time because that was better than the first one. Thank you. Thank you. I just have my coffee and muffin, please. Yeah, yeah. One second. One second. Let me just uh, listen back to this really quickly. <sighs> what? How's it sound? Well, I mean, it sounds fine, but it's, there's no message there because it didn't record. You didn't press the button. Wait a minute. You told me both those times I didn't press the button. I thought I heard a beep. I didn't hear the beep. I'm all the way over here. How do I know that you have a beep going on? I can't hear it. I thought I heard a beep. I don't think there was a beep. Now, uh, kindly record the message one final time. <sighs> okay. I will, but listen. Here we are at Starbucks still, remember that. We're still in Starbucks. And this line behind me is getting pretty long. And these people don't know I'm a great celebrity. And I'd rather have them not know that. Because I'll have to do all their stupid phones. So we can, can we just do this one more time? Whether or not it ends up working, this is the last time I'm going to do it. You have my word, Mr. Explosion. I'll never make you do it again. And this time I have a feeling it's really going to record. Good, thank you. Just hand me the phone again. Here you are, I'm handing you the phone. Thank you, I'm picking it up. And again, don't let these people behind me know that I'm me. Because this line's starting to get pretty big, and they're starting to complain. They don't know what's going on up here. Would you mind saying some... Hey, people of Starbucks, it's me, Marcus. Everyone calm down. We're having an issue with the coffee. We think it may be poison. Something like that? Yeah, that's good. Thank you. All right. I'll wait for the beep and record the message. All right. But once again, I want to reiterate, this is the last time I'm recording an outgoing message. Okay, here goes. Okay, it beeped. Hey, what's going down? My name's Nathan Explosion, and you're calling on Marcus's phone. Marcus can't be here because he's jacking off into, into his own shit right now. And he's got a really tiny cock. Anyway, Marcus wants you to kill yourself, and he hates your parents. See you later. Rock and roll forever. That it wasn't very good. Excuse me, that was great. Listen, as me being Marcus hearing you say those terrible things about me, I don't jack off into my own shit. And if, 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 if I did, how the hell would you know about it? And let's leave my penis size out of this, too. I, don't, I, don't, I just thought it would be funny. Well, that's not funny to me! It's serious to me! Marcus, I didn't realize you were so sensitive. Well, I am! I mean, you're one of my heroes, and you're telling me to jack off him. You're telling me? And you're telling me I'm... And you told me I hate people's parents? It's nearly the holidays, as far as anyone knows, in this particular timeline. And now everybody's gonna hate me. Well, let's at least see if it recorded. Maybe it didn't even record. All right. Hand me Marcus the phone again, and I'll check it out. Okay. Here we go, listening. It didn't record. It didn't? No. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I did three messages. I did three fucking messages, and I don't want to. I don't even want to be here. You know. Yeah, I understand that, but I mean, what about the message? I mean, we we're you're gonna leave me a message. You promised to leave me a message. Just give me the phone. Okay, press one. Okay, all right, this is gonna work. Hey, what's up? That's right. This is the voice of Nathan Explosion. And I'm rocking to you on Marcus's phone. Marcus isn't here right now because he's at a Hitler rally because he likes Hitler and everything that he stands for. And he's trying to suck his own dick, but it's pretty impossible because it's so small. Anyway, he fucks his grandma on the ass. I'm Nathan Explosion. Have a great day. And then I uh, pull out a blowtorch and kill everybody. What if I kept doing that? You know, because I could. I've got the wherewithal. 
I could keep on doing that bit. What if I did? You know, because I don't think... I don't think anybody wants to hear it at some point. Isn't that what comedy is, ultimately? It's some asshole annoying people. Until they go, all right, I've had enough. But maybe over the years, comics figured out that, all right, I'm just going to annoy people for just an, an a small amount that I'm going to leave. And they're going to, right before they get annoying, annoyed with me. Because uh, then they'll, then they'll want to see me again. And I can make $15 again doing comedy at a shitty club. That's probably how it started. That's probably how it started. Did I say that already? Speaking of annoying, um, let's get back to page one. I'm kind of annoyed with myself right now. I mean, I'm not mad at myself, but I'm definitely sick of myself. Definitely sick of myself. face. Wake up, you idiot. Is this recording?
Stop snoring, because you have the talkback microphone on. You're like leaning on the talkback microphone, and all I hear is this horrible chortling, snarling, guttural sound. Sounds like it sounds like like somebody's farting through your throat and you're being choked at the same time. It's one of the worst sounds with diarrhea. It sounds like diarrhea shit splattering through your innards, and, and then that's what you're breathing. That's what the sound is in my ears. So maybe you can find a way to turn off the talk back microphone while you make horrible shit sounds with your throat. I thank you. By the way, I think you've got sleep out here. Because that's what that sound is. It's sleep out here. You know what? Untreated it can be dangerous. So you have to wear a, like a big tube on your face. Like a, you put like a sock on your head and run a tube through your mouth and sleep that way. You know who had sleep out here? Darth Vader. And you know how that ended? Not so good. That's right.
You can always hear them coming. Snort. Like it sounded like. It sounded like he's fucking throwing up diarrhea in his mask every day. Darth Vader. That's the sight of Darth Vader you don't know. There's a lot of, of Darth Vader that nobody knows about. Like he had uh, I talked to George Lucas about this. He, uh, he had a colostomy bag. Nobody thinks about that. How did he go to the bathroom? His cock was burned off in a volcano. a colostomy bag, I'm sorry, Anakin, but you shouldn't have been such a fucking asshole. Now you are in a colostomy bag suit. You were trapped in your own diarrhea, and you've got sleep apnea that has gone untreated. Most people think the Emperor killed him, but it was sleep apnea, and, and he was drowning in with diarrhea. It was just a coincidence that it happened at that point. Telling you over here, I talked to George Lucas. He told me, "Stop snoring" is what I'm saying. I mean, that's what the whole movie is a metaphor for. Some poor asshole being awake, woken, woken by someone snoring. Don't do it. You will die and drown in your own diarrhea. Okay. Wake up, you idiot! I'm awake! I'm awake! I'm awake! Murderfish, can you shut the fuck up? I'm up! I'm up! I'm not, 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 not. Okay! Now, where were we? Page one? Page one? Did they ever have any scenes in Shakespeare where they're just like jacking off? I mean, it, I mean it was like. Like in Richard III. I think that'd be a great audition. Do that one speech, or one of the 400 speeches from Richard III, and you have to maintain an erection and jack off. Because then you're using sense memory. 
That's all acting is. Anyone that's jacked off uses sense memory. You know? Because that's basically what all those actor studio people were doing. Brando. James Dean. Marilyn Monroe. Everyone that's in that diner. Bogart. I think, uh, Robert Fripp is in there. What? Anyway, that's acting. Tune in very strong to a particular image of uh, a lady walking down the stairs who has no idea that one of her tits are out. Because that's sexy. I mean, it, could, it worked. Okay, listen, I don't want to be sexist because it could be with a guy too, you know? Like um, in an office... A guy has one of his balls accidentally hanging out, like above his pants, over the woven belt, pleated front khakis, giving a PowerPoint presentation about uh, sales goals, because they're knee deep in the third quarter, and fourth quarter, it's, it's theirs to win or lose. One of the office mates nudges another one. Two sexy girls with, uh, you know, like cat cat eye frames. And uh, Betty Page bangs are getting fucking horny. Because they see a, a purplish ball being strangled by this man's waist. And they lick their lips. And pull the pencil out of their hair and shake it all down and start jacking off right there because he doesn't know it's more exciting. See? Now that should be the book Accidentally Naked Jack Off Fantasies. People would buy it. You know they would. They would. They just fucking would. All right? Don't argue with me. They just would. You know. And it's, I gotta say, back to the lady fantasy with the lady with her tit accidentally hanging out. I think it's funny and it's cute. I'll tell you why. It's cute because they don't know how to dress themselves. And they only put one tit into their shirt. Which makes them kind of childish and fun. And have a carefree attitude. And I gotta say, there's a lot of that missing these days. So. So that's fun and cute. And it's funny because it's playful. Or it's just, you know, it's like uh, someone being a klutz. You know, that's kind of cute. Isn't it nice to, isn't it nice to, when someone kind of falls down, and you know, just because they're gangly or something. That's what this is like, too. And it does, I think, um... I think people would probably argue with me over this, but it, I think it, it doesn't matter whose tit it is. You just get to see it. It could be like an old, uh, an old lady who uh, drinks pee all day, bathes in pee, who obviously has a very... A strong odor of pee about her. But, uh, hey, look, her tits hanging out. I'll be jacking off to that later on. And you know I will. Man, jacking off. What if we got paid for jacking? I guess people do, right? I can't believe that people are getting paid to jack off. And I'm not making money doing that. Because they jack off into a... Into a jar. Yeah. That's fun. This, this is fun. I think this is the most fun part of what I've recorded so far. I think the beginning's bullshit. The middle's garbage. The later oh middle part God, is horrible. Oh my God, stop please! I can't take it. Just... Go to the last page! Okay, Go to shut the up. last page! Shut no up. one fucking I'm not gonna raise knows my voice. what the fuck shut you're up. saying anyway! Just shut up. Shut your putrid mouth. 
closed. Is there any super glue? Because I'd like to, what I'd like to see to put little beads of super glue on your lower lip, and then uh, with your dry upper lip, close that onto your bottom lip and suffocate. Because that's probably what would happen. Oh God, I'm just so fucking bored. Just shut up. Okay, here we are, page one. <laughs>
Thank you.